Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. I was an only child and the lack of companionship which this fact entailed upon me was augmented by the strange care exercised by my aged guardian in excluding me from the society of the peasant children whose abodes were scattered here and there upon the plains that surround the base of the hill. At the time, Pierre said that this restriction was imposed upon me because my noble bird placed me above association with such plebeian company. Now I know that his real object was to keep from my ears the idle tales of the dread curse upon our line that were nightly told and magnified by the simple tenetry as they converse in harsh accents in the glow of their cottage hearts. This is the quote from The Alchemist by H.P. Lovecraft. Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. Once again, let us delve deeper into the great unknown into the works of H.P. Lovecraft. So uh, let us not waste any more time and just get on and read it. Uh, first off, we will go through a brief summary and once again, I'll try to make it spoiler free at first so that if any of you are interested in this story, you can check it out before returning back to here. So for now, let us get into the premise for the story. For the premise in this story, you will be following a person named Count Antoine de C. At least I think I mentioned that properly. Uh, this story takes place during two, using two timelines. One during the time of our Count Antoine, and another a flashback back to the time of his ancestors. Uh, apparently, his ancestors were responsible for taking a life of a so-called wizard. Uh, this is named Mitchell Mahwas, which resulted in the wizard's son, Charles, seeking revenge on not only the ancestor himself, but also towards his descendants. This was done by placing a so-called curse on his descendants. The apparent curse was that every one of his descendants would die before they reached the age of 32. So now the story progresses is that when now our current uh, protagonist, Count Antoine, is reaching the age of 32, will he fall dreaded to this curse or will nothing happen? Uh, for now, I think I would like to share my favorite quote in respect of this work. Uh, that would apparently for me would be the curse that was actually authored by the wizard's son, which was Charles, that was placed on Antoine's ancestor. Uh, it goes something like this. I'll try to make it as dramatic as possible, but here we go. May never a noble of thy murderous line survive to reach a greater age than thine. It's quite uh, short, but it's quite. I find it quite impactful. So, uh, we're heading off to the spoiler section now, which will of course talk about the ending as well. So you have been advised on that. Um, before I aid towards the ending for our protagonist Antoine's story, I'll give you a brief view of what happened in the past uh, when the wizard Mitchell lost his life. The wizard together with his son was actually, during those times, was the talk of the town. Where apparently there was rumours that he killed his own wife by burning to get a bargain. But uh, apparently, if, if I recall when I was reading the story, there was apparently no way to know whether he has actually done those stuff. It was actually just a talk of the town, it was actually just rumours. Uh, as time goes by, what happened was the son of Henry de Comte which was named Godfrey here, who was actually the ancestors of Antoine, who is our protagonist in the current timeline, uh, Godfrey went missing. So then Henry, the father, tries to look for him. He brought up a search party to see and try to locate his son. Uh, when he came across the wizard, he saw that the wizard was doing something on a cauldron. A uh, cauldron is what you think like those days, if you think of a witch, would boil something into this large black pot. So he immediately thought that he, that the wizard Mitchell was actually boiling his son and just made a connection that he his son got killed by the wizard. So he attacks the wizard but when he, uh, but when he was attacking the wizard 
unbeknownst to him, his search parties, part of it, uh, found actually uh, Godfrey the son somewhere else. And when they brought the king to him, it was already too late. Henry the ancestor actually went and attacked and killed the wizard. Then that leads to the son of the wizard, which was Charles, tr- placing a curse upon our ancestor Henry, which of course, as you heard just now, was a curse where any person who reaches the age of 32 will then die. Uh, then now, we, once you already understand the backstory of what happened in the past, we come back to our protagonist, who is now reaching the age of 32. He had found a hidden passage in the castle where he stays and as he embarked inside, he heard what he thought was someone coming behind him. So with his reflexes, he managed to take out a person and ended up killing him. Uh, The person, before he was dying, then reveals himself to be none other than Charles himself, the son of the wizard. The apparent curse was that he himself is just taking on an elixir to stay himself from death and making himself alive all these years and he himself is the one that's actually been killing off every descendant before the age when they reach the age of 32. Alright, so that's the end of that. Uh, this was The Alchemist by H.P. Lovecraft. Now we'll move on to my thoughts of the story. Uh, first and foremost, it was quite a simple short story. Quite similar, a quick suspense story, similar to the one that I've already done, which was titled The Beast in the Cave. If you guys haven't heard my thoughts on that story, you can check it out on my channel. The one thing I found it quite interesting was the fact that uh, the wizard's son, which was Charles, he somehow managed to stave off his life by creating a potion that makes him live long. The one thing I found it quite strange was how did he manage to at least take on every descendant of Henry right up to our main character Charles. I can understand how he does it towards the later half, towards the Charles' era because during that time the family, most of them have already died and there was only just Charles himself. But back from the beginning when Henry's was first cursed, I'm quite sure there were quite a few of them. So how did he manage to manage to knock off every single one of his descendants right before hitting the age of 32? I'm quite sure most of them were at least were made aware of. So it was quite an interesting thing to think about. If you guys have any thoughts about this story, uh, do let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so before I wrap off uh, this quick lunch session, I would like to share the ending quote from this story, which I found it quite fascinating as well. This was the allegedly final words of Charles, the son of the wizard, after our protagonist Antoine managed to knock him off and in his dying words, this was his apparent final say. Fool, he shrieked, can you not guess my secret? Have you no brain whereby you may recognize the will which has through six long centuries fulfilled the dreadful curse upon your house? Have I not told you of the great elixir of eternal life? Know you not how the secret of alchemy was solved? I tell you, it is I, I, that have lived for six hundred years to maintain my revenge. For I am Charles Lee Saucer. I hope you guys will enjoy watching this. If you want to see more videos, kindly give a like, share and subscribe.